got it. Alright, Shalom. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Back to basic, you know, just let you know that it's the same routine, you know, what's happening and what we have to prophesy against. Just the, the, the um, downfall of this kingdom. Alright? So we let you know this is a, this America is a sinful place, a sinful kingdom. You know, Lord God, I'm okay, brother. Second Ezra is 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. The words of prophecy. That's right, Con. Speak thou the words of prophecy in the ears of my people. Who is the Lord's people? The Lord's talking about Pacific people right there. My people. That's a possessive pronoun. All right, so who is he talking about? You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, first and foremost. What would you ignorantly known as? Okay? If we had the, we had the, um, the, the chart, we'd be able to show you who, what, what, what tribe you fall under. So the Lord said, we don't have it says the words of prophecy. The words of prophecy. And the word prophecy means to say before. Before it happens. And that's what we're doing. We're telling you. And everything we've been speaking from our elders and our apostles on down, it's been happening. Going back further, going back to Alba Bivens and trickling, uh, trickling on down to our elders, from their elders to our elders, and, and to today. And what's 2022? And what's happening? What we've been prophesying. They got, they got um, the biz mark out. They got the, the, the um, Salakia, yeah. you know, just yeah, the code the name. I know. And, uh, um, and uh, a lot of other wars and rumors of war. You put that in Matthew. Um, yeah, you know, it says, I will put them, I will put in thy mouth. Yeah, he's, that's what he did. He put these words in our mouth. This is not our words. Right. Us coming out here, it's not us. It's not of us. This is a, this is a higher calling. And we are doing the doing, and, and, and then we learn to love it. Yeah, wars and rumors of wars. Like the brother, the other brother said that he put these words in our mouth, and we're telling you, um, we're saying it. It's how you say it in, in Greek, prophesy. I'm um, prophesying. So, um, to, uh, I forgot you said it. Um, to like, to forsake. Yeah. Say before it happens. Prophesy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It says, and cause them to be written in paper, and, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, to cause them to be written in paper, because they are faithful and true. Okay? Now, the words is alive. And it's happening. Everything that this, this book has is, been talked about and said from our prophets, our prophets on from the ancient time is happening now. You guys have wrote? This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 28. I'm going to try that at 7. Seven yeah. It says, nevertheless, Hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears. Hear now these words we speak. That we telling you what's, what's happening. We telling you what's coming to what's coming to light to, to pass. You know what? I mean? It says, and in the ears of all the people, it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. The ancient prophets. Alright, did the same thing we are doing. Go go back to um to um um, um Noah. He was telling you, oh, get ready, get ready. What happened? The first death, the flood. So everything's been happening. Even if you go back to Adam, the, um, in the cool of the day, the prophets that have been walking in the cool of the day was, was the man of the Lord that was telling, that was like telling, telling the people prophesying. It's, it's been all ongoing. Gabby, you know what? Yeah, it says, the prophets that have been before me huh? and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. Against many countries and great kingdoms. Okay? And, and another another prophet that the Lord had to um and ordained him was Jonah. He was running from being a prophet. And what happened? The Lord, he went out and did the work. And the same thing happened with, with, Nineveh, with uh, in Nineveh. It didn't take, it didn't happen that time. But when it happened, it, 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 it was done. Nineveh was just, yep. Yeah. That happened during the time of Tobit. Tobit, Tobit. Tobit and Tobias, come that's when that's when that Nineveh went down. Okay, okay, read on it. Don't see it. Read that point first, that last that second verse. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old 
prophesy both against many countries. So it's an ongoing thing with the prophets. The prophets has always been here speaking, speaking the things before it happened. Okay? And, uh, and, the, and the people knew when they saw a prophet, they got nervous. Okay? It says, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, war and evil and pestilence. Evil is bad times and pestilence is, is, is going to be those, the, the, um, the nuclear missiles. Pestilence is so much diseases. Disease, yeah, yeah come, come. Sicknesses. Yeah, pe plagues, famine, famine too. Cause it's, it's, it's coming. All these things is happening. It's global now. Yeah. Cut, cut. It's happening now. Cut. It's global. It's happening now. Cut. Now, now you got the ninja, the, 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 the kung fu parrot, the kung fu panda variant. As long and you got the the gay pox, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's spread it all throughout the world. China's on lockdown right now. Cut. Hey, and like, we already know we already know what that gay pox is. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, the same thing that they was using to to lock shit down now, but this is on a different. Um, on a different level. First they use the C19, now they using the um, MP. You know, yeah. you everybody know what that is, the MP. I got a scripture, I got a precept. This is um, chapter, Matthew chapter 3, chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon Mount of Olives, the disciples came up to him properly saying, tell us, when shall these things be? He was telling them then what's going to happen now. He says, And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Wars and rumors of war. These are the signs. What we're what we seeing now, we're living it out. What Yahweh was telling his, his disciples back then. I got it right here. It says, yeah. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Yeah, no me. man, Salaki, like that no man deceive you and, 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 and direct you to a different way of, of, the, of what these words is telling you. Because these words are alive. We don't really know. And it reads, it says, um, it says, um, it says, And Yahweh shot answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 5. For many shall come in my name. Yeah, saying, man. And many shall come in his name trying to deceive you. Saying, Lord, Lord. You know? And, 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 and that's not his, and his name is Yahweh shot. And they got these churches. And, and they, they, they trying to say, this is the way. Follow, but no, that's not the way. If you go according to the, the real right, the real righteous men that, that, that's set up by Yahweh Shemel Shah, you won't be guided wrong. Okay. It says, and Yahweh Shah answered and said, "Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive me. And, and, and a lot, a majority has been deceived. And you got the. Let me just say this. Okay. You got the Apostle Gino Jenkins. Mm -hmm. The TD Jakes, the Creflo Dollars, you got what's up with God, the um the Edomite dude that has a large following. Joel Laws Austin. Awesome. Joel Joel Austin. You have you have um even men that, that claim they Israel that know the truth. Yeah. Such as IUIC, ISUPK, um GOCC. These people are not teaching you 100 percent truth, man. Donny, Donny, the Donny camp that has 100 percent truth. And speaking boldly and but humbly, it's great meal. So sign with the apostles to haul on down, man. You know? So I gotta hold this a little more. It says, um, it says, um, verse back in Matthew chapter 24, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many, and show verse 6, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. And that's what we're hearing now. And, and actually there's a war going on right now in Ukraine and Russia. A, a, I'm sorry, I got it's like in the rumors of wars is dealing with Iran and and um Israel, which is the rumors of war for a certain amount of years. But now it's time to put put it to fruition because um the Mossad, which is the Israeli form of the CIA, has ample evidence that that the um Iranian government has uh, nuclear man, weapons, man. weapons, man. So now uh, they trying to move fast. You know? So it is what it is, man, you know? And they all moving fast and they trying to pick up the pace on it because they know they got a short time. Cause they the globalist elites are trying to take over the world by uh, pushing they, they um, their agendas. And, they, and, they, and the law is gonna stop them in these tracks. 
you're going to let them get to a point, and then he's going to stop them in their tracks. Yeah, it says, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, yeah. see that ye be not troubled, for the for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Don't be troubled by all these things. That's what this word, this word is your comfort. They tell you to prepare yourself spiritually. That's why you should not have, be, don't be troubled at these times. God, we don't. It says, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and all these shall be, it, it, it says, and there shall be famine, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. And that's what's happening. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a slow progress. It's slow and it's, and it's speeding up. All, right? all these, the famine, pestilence, all these diseases, they pushing, like the brother, elder brother said, they pushing diseases. Earthquakes and diverse places. And, and, yeah, God. It says, um, all these are the beginning of sorrow. Beginning of sorrow. It's the beginning, the beginning stage of sorrow. All right? So, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a that's what the prophets are prophesying, telling you what's going to happen. That's what the, that's what the, um, Yahweh Shah, the brother of Israel, what Yahweh Shah is saying. You know, you that in Jeremiah, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because these prophesying against countries and nations. I got another priest. I got another priest. This is of 2nd Nigeria chapter 8. Verse, uh, let me start at 61. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. Verse 62. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and the yeah. few like thee. Yeah, and it's a few. That's why the, the, the word that comes is for few. This word that's, that's now is for many. No, 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 bro. I'm, I'm still out there. I was just pulling the verse. You hear what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. It says, this is the second Ezra chapter 8, verse 61. And therefore is my judgment at hand. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, yeah. and a few like thee. So a, few, a few men like you, a few righteous men like us. It says, Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not showed me. And that's happening right now. He showed he showed a few men that these prophecies through his through his through, through his angels, his messenger that he came down, that came down and he gave us his, all these words. So okay, brother. Just a little more. Okay. This is this is second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. This is the, um, the Lord speaking to Ezra. Yeah. He asked he asked the Lord a question. And the Lord is going to tell him how to look for the signs of his coming. And he reads. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. That's right. Measure the time diligently watching the news. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Watching all the news, watching the, um, what's going on around us. So we are measuring the time. Okay. And, it's, and it reads, He says, I'm reading from the top again. Right. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the times diligently in itself. And when thou sees part of the signs past, which I have told you before, we're going to the source of Matthew, the 24th chapter, the, the third verse on down, so, you know, getting into the milk and, and the honey of these scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Measuring the, the times, man. Getting the understanding of the scriptures and, and learning the time that we're in. Because we are in the time of these these um, prophecies coming to pass. And the reason why Yahweh Shai told the disciples to measure the time, because he told, he once told them during the time, all right, even though Ezra was before Matthew, during the time of Matthew, but these these words was prophesied what was going to take place and how you can measure the times. So now, Yahweh Shah, we really we refresh their memories of the day that was going to come to pass. So he said, measure out the times of diligence in itself, man. And Yahweh Shah was bringing out. And Matthew, the 24th chapter, the third verse on down, the day that you should look forward to when, you know, to, to look forward to the end of the times. It's a little more. It says, it says, um, verse 2, um, um, second letter, chapter 9, verse 2. And it reads, Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he may. And he's visiting it now. Do, do, via, do, do the, um, do all these, um, wars and rumors wars. This is a famine. Yeah, that's the famine. 
Because a lot of it's, a, it's a, just a, just the vegetation is happening as we speak, and we're prophesying it. And our, and, a, and, a, and our elders before us prophesied it too, the prophets before us, and we are doing the same thing. Okay, bro. So that was more. There's no more. There's no more. It says, um, therefore, when thou shall be, therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and and, and uproars of the people in the uproars world, of the people, and we seen that. That's right. That's right. Throughout the four corners of the earth, there's uproars, man. Going from Venezuela second, to Sri Lanka to um, Australia to um, um, Panama to um, throughout the four corners. That's the name of you, man. It's a global uprising of the people, uproars of the people, man. And we see it, man. Showing these prophecies are coming to pass. They speak it loud and clear. It's a little more. It says, um, it says, back in verse 4, 2 Corinthians 9 and 4, Then should thou well understand that, that the Most High spake of, of these of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, for like as all that has, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And the end is manifesting itself right now by being, by being prophesied. To the, to our men, to the men, the men of the Lord on down to us. That's right. It says, for like as all, the, for like as, for, um, it says, even but it's like it. Matthew chapter, um, no, this is um, second Andrew chapter nine verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginning and wonders and powerful works and ending in effects and signs. That's right. These are wonders. That's these, it. Yeah, these are those wonders that's happening around us, and and it's leading up to our kingdom. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, back in uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. I read that every day. Oh. Yeah, he read. I read three going down. I read three going down. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, this is. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, it's spread. We're going to bring that out again. Bring that out again, bro. All right, all right. It says, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. It says, And Yahweh shot answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. God. Take heed that no man deceive you. And that's where you don't want to be deceived and led be led astray out of, out of this away from this truth. Because there's only one truth. For many shall come in my name, yeah. saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And there's a lot of deceiving people. The brother, the other brother said, these churches, they deceive it. They deceive in the mass. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. It says, Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Yeah, let them alone. If, if they if they following Gino Jennings and all these other these pastors, let them alone. Because the, the one that's leading them is blind too. Yeah, brother. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Both shall fall into the ditch. Okay? He's the, the one that's leading them and the one that's following them will fall right into that ditch. <laughs> I just gotta say this, man. The boy was put up on the chat that it showed, and I seen the video. IUIC getting beat up by a bunch of um, Christians, man. IUIC getting beat up by a bunch of Christians. You got a woman with a stiletto busting a man in the head. You know what I mean? You got another individual getting bit by another Christian. Then you got this fat, obese um, Jake pull out a gun on IUIC, man. They was getting jacked up, man. Show you the most I ain't with that, man. Hey, man, the most I set up these, these different pastors, like Apostle Gino Jenkins, Creflo Dollar, yeah. T.D. Jakes, what's up with a guy named again? Um, Osteen. Uh, Osteen, Joe Osteen, as being stumbling blocks to the sons of Israel, man. The Most High ain't dealing with them. The two thirds of the of the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's in these whole houses, man. That think it's in the churches, man. And that's why they they are stumbling blocks, man. But guess what? Guess what? You cannot force this truth on any man. The Most High do not want, man. You can't force the truth on a man that the Most High don't want. If the Most High didn't open, it's, it's nothing for the Lord Yahweh like this to open a man's eyes to get this truth. But guess what? The Most High ain't doing that. He don't want the masses of the people, man. It's a select, small number which is the elect that the Most High is dealing with, man, that he wants to get his word, man. The two-thirds is going to be blinded by the cares and the riches of this world and by these different crazy pastors, you know what I'm saying, that's spewing they madness out of their mouth. And Pastor Gino Jenkins, man, that dude was a demon, a deceitful demon, man. He got, he's very decept, deceitful, deceptive, and he, 
know what he's doing, man. You a demon, man. And the most I'm gonna kill you, man. That's like he killed Rap the News, man. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. Beware of false prophets that come to you in sheep's clothing. That's Gino Jenner and, and all these churches. And they, they come in as great, they come in as um, um, in clothing, but they're wolves. They, they, gonna, they wanna devour you. They don't care for the they flock. They don't care for the flock. They don't care for the flock. All G it. Apostle Gino Jenkins, Creflo Dollar, TD Jakes, and the rest of them false prophets. They out there for the for the for the for the, yeah, for the yeah, money, yeah. man. They out there for the money, man. They don't care nothing for you. As long as um Creflo Dollar can fly in this this private jet, as long as he could TD Jakes can, can drive around in a Bugatti or a Rolls Royce or whatever the hell he want to go take a vacation on this expensive three billion dollar yacht, he gonna do so, man. He's gonna have no concern about the, the flock of the people. He's concerned about lining his pockets, man. Like all the rest of these goddamn phony ass pastors, man. Even men that know they Israel, man. They lining their pockets. They even call men the pocket. Yeah, right, right, right. That's your name, wicked. Show you, man, that they main concern is about, they main thought and they main concern is lining their pockets and filling their own belly. That's what it's about, man, to these people, man. That goes back to that verse you spoke written red when it says that the Lord only gave these special words to, 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 to a few. And the Lord is only dealing with his men, man. So the deceive and the deceiver are the most high. So the most high directs a man's steps. If we direct you to be to these any other nations, but if, so like if we direct you to any of these different camps that's, that that had that, that that does not have 100 percent truth, if we direct you to the Joe Austin's or the T D Jakes or the Creflo Dollars or the Apostle Geno Jenkins, the most size deceiving you, man. The most size set up Apostle Geno Jenkins and the rest of them them clowns to deceive those you don't want, man. Bottom line, man. Bottom line, man. You can't see it, hey man. Bang. Okay, can we read that verse again? Yeah, read it from the top. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. It says, it says, beware of false prophets. Beware of false prophets. And that's 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 those are the men we're talking you about, which is from those in those men in those churches, those big mass of people. The Lord don't want the Lord ain't dealing with them. It might be some 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 you know some men up in there, women up in there that might be that might come out of that. But how it's looking, it's still the majority is going to be destroyed by that, by that. Man, we, 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 we. It says, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. There's still the mass will get caught by those those men that's in those sheep clothing. Well, the mass will be destroyed. And that's the, like the elder brother said, that the Lord wants you to deceive and deceive is his. The one that's, being, the one that's, that's blind leading the blind, those are his. He wants them to fall right into the ditch. Okay, it says, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Inwardly they are raving wolves, bloodthirsty. They about to destroy you if you don't come out of that filthy place. Stop following that wicked man, the wicked men. Yeah, brother. It says, you shall know them by their fruits. You should know them by their fruits. And what they, what they were doing, fighting the um, the um, I used to, so not they fighting each other. Even though, yeah, even though Apostle Gino Jenkins got a large flock. Yeah. He got a large flock of the of the dead, man. The most high dealing with them people, man. And then you got IUIC going out there in Philadelphia surrounding their church just to get ambushed by women with stilettos, getting bitten, a man put a, a, a beast, Jake, pulling out a gun. You know what I mean? I seen the video. Everybody seen the video. It's up on it's up on life for everybody to see. Yeah. Nigga moment. Man, that was a nigga moment, man. If you don't understand what a nigga moment is, uh, watch the, um, the, boondocks. the boondocks, man. Where the episode was called the nigga moment. A nigga moment. Then you would see what, what a nigga moment was, man. That was nothing but a fucking nigga moment, man. A mystery show. But you got these people thinking that the truth come out of these churches? Nah, man. Not even the men that claim to be Israel. Certain men, certain groups don't even have the truth, man. Because they, were, they wouldn't be out there, man. Because the Lord... Listen, this truth has been pushed throughout the four corners of the earth through the internet, man. So if the Lord want any of these niggas, them boy niggas, the pork eating, shrimp eating niggas in that church, man, the Lord will grab them out, man. This truth will 
will graft them out of that, that mess they in and they will be a part of the most high's healing, man. But the two thirds is gonna be destroyed, man, because the most high is, what is the, a scripture in um, Isaiah, was it 10 and six? Or um, nine and six, where the most I said that, then they gonna be blind to the end of, to the destruction. I say nine and six. Nine and six. Yeah, come. I got a quick precept for you before you get that. Uh, Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You can't be unle unequally yoked with unbelievers, man. So going to these churches, man, trying to trying to teach, you, trying to trying to roughhouse and force the truth on these unbelievers, man. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. Read that again, Baba Kasha. It says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Be ye not unequally, unequally yoked with, um, together with unbelievers, man. Going to these different churches, trying to persuade the flock that Apostle Geno Jenkins has, they all deceived, man. The most I got them in that trick bag where they deceived by this dude, man. And this dude got a very, very annoying mouth. Ah! You ever heard him, bro? Yeah, I didn't hear him. But you know what? The Apostle Paul is saying this is like a sin. Because in our law, in our in the laws, you're not supposed to yoke like an oxen with a donkey. Like the heathens did that. Yeah. That ain't fair because the oxen could outwork the donkey. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair. It's unequally yoked. That's a sin. Okay. But the Apostle Paul is like in a sin. Um, us linking with other motherfuckers and that's not part of this thing. It's like a man. sin. It's, it, 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 you, you can't do it, man. It's not gonna work. It's like missing oil and water. You can't get an unbeliever trying to engraft them into the truth, man, and be basically into these churches, man. A nigga in the church, man, he's gone, man. If the most high choose to bring him out of the church, all you gotta do is go on YouTube. It's not searching. He did. All these niggas in the churches know about the Israelites, man. They know about the Israelites, man. So there's no excuse, man. There's no call for you niggas sins. They'll know about the Israelites, man. Whether you choose to, to because now the Pastor Gino Jenkins, he got, um, how can I say it? He had a way where he could um, persuade you niggas that the Israelites are bad people. What he was saying, that they beat women, they stomp women out, they slap women around. So now, there you go. Right now, now, the most of the women in the church is men fun behind these women. So now, these women got, now they, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the Israelites think we got a bad, he demonized us, man. Basically. But that don't be happy. We don't be beating our women. That shit is all but a bunch of hogwash, man. But he, he capitalized off with what IUIC was doing, was trying to roughhouse and, and, and make make the um these churches intimidate people to believe right. in the truth man right. which is totally bullshit man where's that in the scriptures man this is uh second corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 and it said but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost if our gospel's been hid it's hid to those that read that one more time it says second corinthians 4 verse 3 it says but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost. Yeah, who's lost? The, uh, the mass of this people. I, and what's hid? The, this good news. The gospel is the good news. That this king, they don't want, they, they, they rather listen to um this prosperity pimp than to listen to the, the, the good news, which is this place coming down, being destroyed, us, our king coming back. That's what they don't want. They don't want our Lord to come back and rule in righteousness. Because they want to do unlawful things. They rather hear the deceiver than they, 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 they hear the, the, um, the, the righteous man. And this good news is here to them because they are lost. It says, in whom the God of this world, world had blinded the minds of them which believe not. Who is the God of this world? Satan and Esau. Okay? They rather listen to this, this blue-eyed devil than to listen to a righteous man that's, that, that's, that, that's telling you the good news. How did they blind them? Do these 501c3 charters, uh -huh. which was set up by Lyndon Banks Johnson, who was a senator in the 50s, to suppress the truth come out of these churches, man. Uh -huh. Now they're under control, complete control of the government, man. Why? Because they tax exempt. If you want this money, you can't bring out certain things because they knew that the truth was going to eventually come out. You can you can suppress the truth for so long, but after a while, it's going to, the truth is going to flourish, man. It's going to come out, man. So they had an idea, eventually the truth is going to come out. So what we're going to do is, we're going to come up with this 501c3 charter so we could 
keep you if you want the tax exempt um payments of not you a, a, a church to not pay taxes then you're going to have to abide what we tell you to do don't bring out certain things and you got certain groups that call themselves israelites such as iuic isupk that have tax exempt status do the aisle do the um 501c3 charter man so they are limited what they can teach you man and they tell them listen don't yeah. break out the name of the lord man they know esau know that bringing that name is powerful man when you call upon the name of the lord if all jakes want the four corners of earth call upon the name of the lord guess what the truth is to say the lord's gonna have to come back and deliver us man but that ain't gonna happen because you want the so like you want the mass to be deceived the lord want he don't want the whole the whole nation he want he want just the elect yeah, so it says, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not. With the like the elder brother said, with 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 their um with their goodies, the five hundred one c three charter, and they lavish life that they, they this mass of people they could invite everyone in. That's not that's the Lord though that they have been deceived they have been blinded. It says, lest the light of the glorious gospel. Of Hamashiach, the, 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 the light of this glorious gospel, this good news, man. The good news is that the Lord is coming back, and He's coming back in righteousness. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm Hold on, I'm it says, "Who is the image of the Most High should shine onto them?" Yeah, that's your Howard shot. I'm telling you, he, he, when He come back, we're gonna, you, you, we're gonna love His appearing, because what we've been speaking is is coming to fruition. It's coming to light, man. You can see it. You can feel it. Yeah, yeah, because you had mentioned that uh how you had mentioned that these motherfuckers are taking 501 C3s. Right. This is Deuteronomy 16 and 19. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not which I rest mean like uh pervert. Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift right. for oppression, a I'm sorry, oppression make a wise man heart mad, but a, a, a gift destroys the heart. That's right. And that's what I'm saying. That's no what good. they're doing. They have, they have, they have taken these goods that the, the devil, this, the, the, the one, the ruler of this society has given them, and they have, they have pushed away Yahweh, Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Yeah, brother. That's right. It says, neither take a gift, for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise. That's what happened. And they, that's all them goodies, the money, that lavish life. They get to be in um, on planes, like the other brother said. Uh, eating is good, they, well, to them that's good. The shrimps and lobsters eat abominable food, doing whatever they want, instead of instead of coming back and, and doing a will, y'all about Shemel shot. You know what, bro? They know when you teach this truth in its entirety, it's offensive. Oh, and they don't want to offend people. Like, you got people in the IUIC with dreads, lineups, yeah. um, niggas with long hair, whatever they want to do, because they've took that purse. That purse being extra money coming in, extra bread coming in, because they see like if a guy goes, then that's like them see they see them niggas like dollar signs. If that dude's go, then the congregation go take a hit. So to keep him around, we're gonna bend the rules for this cat. So they can stick around. But if you teach this truth unadulterated, you are gonna have a finite amount of men. Because the scriptures tell you that offenses will and must come. Yeah. You know, and, and this truth is a sifting agent, man. Yeah. You know, you got a whole bunch of people coming into this truth, listening they believe, but now they believe in the sweetness is where they, they find out that they're Israelites and that Yahweh Shah is a black man. They learn the laws of the Lord. They, 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 learn, they learn the certain laws of the Most High. They learn the name of the Most High and the Son. But now, you have to, if you got dress, you got to shave the dress up. You got law, okay, you got to take that off. You got to do away with that. If you have anything dealing with this world, like if you let, if you let to commit adultery, you got to nip that in the bud. If you let to smoke weed, that shit out the window. You have to bang your nose with that white powder that's out the window. Anything that's involved in this world is out the window. So a lot of people get offended. They're like, okay, it's hard for people to to, to um, do away with old habits, man. If, if you don't pray to the Lord and ask the most how to pour the spirit upon you to do away with these different um, devices, you, even wicked devices you have, then guess what? You're going to succumb to them each and every time, man. Yeah, Israelite fashion shows. Yeah. <laughs> like that shit is off, bro. That shit is crazy. Israelite fashion shows, Israelite rap battles. If you want to do a rap battle, that's some shit you do off camera with a brother, whatever. 
that's not some shit you try to use as a tool to bring people in because that's the guys. The guys is, look at us, we have cookouts. Yeah. Look at us, 140, 44,000, you know, we making new tracks and shit. That's bringing in people for all the wrong fucking, well, you know what, you're bringing in the two thirds, so that's what y'all doing, you know? Let me finish the sock and I got you. It says, and it says, for a gift does blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. That's right. Some fucking yeah. briberies, man. Yeah, ahead, like bribery. Yeah, they, they're giving all these, this, this, this filthy, this money. And um, now what's happening? They're not doing the right thing. They're not doing the right thing. They're not leading the people to the to, to, to how y'all was shot. They're not doing the will y'all about to get shot. If it was about if it was about filthy lucre, the Lord would have told you to oh get the mass and bring everybody in. But see, they, what they're trying to do is they're trying to um um bring in other um other people that's not a part of the the, the, uh, the nation. So if they get one thing, they're gonna do something else. It's always gonna trigger to, to, to be doing the wrong thing. That's why the Lord don't respect persons. Okay? Yeah, the, I, the, the, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the way how they uh, do it is really like a, it's a, it's a business strategy, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They're trying to maximize their profits at the end of the year, man. So the more people they got coming in, hey, it's the more uh, 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 money that, that's trending uh, 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 through the church, man. Yeah. All right? I, I, I used to live next to a church. <laughs> The past, like, he had matching Ray Krovers, man, with matching rims. I'm like, damn, man. Like, That's just a lucrative job, brother. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You're, You're not getting, getting taxed. Not getting Six. cut. And the pastors just, be like, committing adultery. Yeah. Popping the yeah, congregation yeah, wife. Go ahead, brother. You good. Um, and they, they mess with other people's wives. And one, I saw the one video when the guy had all these women lined up, bent over. And he was just, those are not his wives, those are somebody else's wives. Right. And the women is so deceitful. You can deceive a woman so fast. That's why women... Don't want they don't want to follow righteousness. They 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 this world is this world is made for the so-called white man and the woman. You know? And not the white man, the so-called white man, he's a he's a wicked, he's a wicked man. And so the woman is it's just like in, in um in um Genesis. She's been deceived, she's been told to that this is the power, this is the way. But no, that's why that's why Satan didn't come to the to the, to the, um, to the right to Adam. I'm going to say this, bro. A woman has no fucking business reading the Bible, bro. I'm going to say it again. A woman has no business reading the Bible. Because you be seeing uh, them coming out, them schools, with a fucking, with the head wrap on and they're holding the book of Sirach. You have no, that, uh, <laughs> the, please, the, uh, the Apocrypha. Yeah. You women out there have no business reading this Bible. The Bible was meant to be read by men. And now it's up to that man if you want to teach this woman or not. Because a woman that says, the Bible says, no, a woman that says, my man says, is above and highly more esteemed than a woman that says the Bible says. Right. Because that woman is more in order. Go ahead, brother. I got a precept for you. This for that point. Was the Lord said, he said, the Lord said, men. Right. This is Revelation chapter 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. The tabernacle of the house. The Most High dwells with men. That's right. The, the Most High dwells with men. The Lord ain't dealing with no woman, man. Right. All right, so if you have a woman that is picking up the scriptures or or even uh, some of these women, this is a true thing. A brother had put it in the um, chat. A woman was saying, I don't know why some of you sisters believe y'all need a man. When you get a connection with the Lord directly, the? it's, 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 it's you, you open up more and all this type of shit. Well, that's no different than a man saying, I don't need Yahweh Shah. I'm going to go straight to the Most High. That's superseding order, man. All right? So, a woman that don't even believe is... Actually, if she just listens to you, that's far better, bro. Because her job, a woman's righteousness is determined by how well she serves her man. All right. All right? You don't worry about her and teach... Look, bro, teaching her, it doesn't... Look, if you have a woman that's just doing right by you, it doesn't matter if she believes or not, bro. Okay. The Lord will still save her. And she's doing right by you. And she's doing right by you. But the majority of women ain't doing right by their men. You got to yeah. But you have other camps. Yeah. Having telling God to leave their their yeah. woman if they don't believe, man. That's and that's now, out of order. and that's out of order. You know why? Because now you putting that woman out there to commit adultery, man. She can't believe in no woman because of that. Go ahead, brother. This is First uh, Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse forty. It says, "Let all things be done decently and in order." And this is an order. All right, it's Yahweh. It's Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man, woman. Okay, and that's the order. Let all things be done in decency and in order. And this is places out of order. It's not decent. 
it's not a decent place, man. And they, and that's what we that first again. We find the other one too. All right, this is uh First Corinthians chapter fourteen verse forty it says, "Let all things be done decently and in order." Decently and in order, and you people are out of order by putting. By, that was a philosophy that the, that Satan, the, 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 the devil, which is the white man, taught taught to the woman back then to be out of order. So through her, we all die. This place is out of order, man. It says, it says, 1 Corinthians uh, uh, chapter 11, verse 3. And it says, But I would have you know that the head of every man is a mashiach. The head of every man is Yahweh Shah. That's a mashiach. What are you doing? And the head of the woman is the man. Now, there you go. That's order. Let all things be done in decency and order. The head of every woman is the man. We don't. It says, and the head of Hamashiach is the Most High. And the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. That's the Most High. It's Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, men, then women. All right? And the woman takes care of the children. That's why this place is out of order, man. There's no, it's no, it's no order. This place is not decent. It's not a decent place. Women, women just wear, wear un, unlawful things. Men, women, they, People eat unlawful food. That's why they eat. That everything is out of order, man. This is um, First Timothy's two. First Timothy's two and twelve. But I suffer not a woman to teach. I suffer not a woman to teach. See, you're not supposed to be out here being a prophetess. That's how you say it. Like, yeah, but they can't do that, bro. They can't even do that. 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 They can not do that they can not do that they can not so I, I'm sorry, so I, when I was in Philly, I saw the, the other kids were camp down the block from, from, from the great middle school camp. They had their chairs out, women out there with the kids running around. This is a battlefield, man. You know, we at war. Women and kids at home, man. Yeah. Get it, get your stay go in the kitchen. Tend to the kids. You women don't even want to be mothers. It's a lot. Oh. It says 5.50. All right, brother. You let me know what time that is. It says, all right. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. Nor to usurp authority over the man. But to be in silence. Silence. That's, that's why you, you, you run your mouth so much, you just come out wearing anything. You do, that's why this world un, is un, out of order. And the man, the man so under your legs and between your crotch, he forgetting that, he he, he forgetting how to, how to rule you. Yeah, that's a lot of it. And that's what's happening. It says, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Be silent. Stop running your chapel. The more you talk, the more the Lord is mad with you. Yahweh about Shemel Shah is mad with you. Because you're not, you're not, being, you're not, you're not following the, the protocol of obedience. Yep. Of order. Okay, For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Yeah, and Eve was made, the woman was made for the man. The man was not made for the woman. Okay, that's order. You was made to be our helpmate, to help us. And this is why, this is why this place is out of order, because if, if, we was, if this place was order, all, all righteous men would have all their women. And they and they be order. Everybody know their role. You know? And Adam was not deceived, but Eve, the woman being deceived. Adam was not deceived. The woman was deceived. By who? The damn that damn um that damn serpent was which was a, which was a, a man. Alright? Running his chapel telling her the, the, the wickedness. Oh, this, this you can do this. And, and don't worry, you're not gonna die for it. But the, well, the scripture said, through her we all die. Through woman we all die. That's why we that's why we in the situation we now. The man was not deceived. 
Adam was not deceived. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. And she was the one that broke the law. Because she didn't, she didn't, instead of her, if, if, if she was a righteous woman, she'd be like, oh, oh, another man telling me this, I'm going to tell my man. Right. But did, did she do that? No. Right, right, right. I'll tell you, it's like, what happened to me, somebody, some woman came on me, she was married, I went and told her husband. Like, yo, I did. I did. I said, yo, yo. I said, yo, man, I ain't never disrespect you. You better go get your woman. I did that. I just tell you, but 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 just this an example, because we we know that's against the law, right? And we learned that. That's how we that's how we get we coming back to our power. That, that, that was the other. Yeah. That's okay. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> Ecclesiastes twenty five and twenty four. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. Woo! And through her we all died. I was going that all day, but yeah, die. through her we all died. That's what we dead now. We and, 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 and it's it's not only that. We 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 suffering here too. We ain't dead. We, we suffering just how this how this place is out of order. All right, this man hate this place, man. And then we and then we see a woman. They putting us on child support. Um, uh, they men are getting killed because of because of the woman. And she goes after he, she, that. I'm sorry. You see that uh, guy just in the Bronx? Guy, he got stabbed. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 because of the woman. Yeah. 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 For, for a bag of chips. In the deli. Yeah. For a yeah. bag of chips. Yeah. yeah. He dead. He back in the spirit world. But you know the Lord told him that was that was the judgment. The Lord told him saying, "You won't know this will happen to you because you 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 listen. You speak well between her crotch." Yeah, a lot of you niggas are dating death angels, bro. Woo, bro. Woo. You said that. What you said? said? A lot of these niggas are dating death angels. Oh yeah, that's a good. Destroy. Nah, that's a fight. House party. Yep. Yo, bro, I was fucking with this one bitch years ago, and she was telling me, um. The last thing I dated, he was pussy. And oh my God. And we was at a party, the niggas came up, and she was like, I ain't gonna look like a bitch. So I got up and started, and you know where they fucked up? The nigga. The nigga ain't want nothing. To... And because of her dumb ass loud mouth, this dude got his shit rocked, man. Damn, gotta bro. Be, you gotta be a, brothers, you gotta be on Super circumspect point. that you're not dating a goddamn death angel, man. Damn. Damn. First Corinthians chapter 14, I'll start at 33. It says, For the Most High is not the author of confusion. The Most High is not the author of confusion. This place is confused. This is, trust me, y'all. How about you? A woman is nothing but confusion, bro. They don't know what the fuck they want. You know? One minute is take me out, but I don't know where to go. So this is fucking confusion dealing with them, bro. So, uh, uh, look, man, the scripture says, Lean not. On your own understanding, which right. is your mind. A woman are governed by their emotions. So how the hell does an emotional preacher pick up a book that deals with absolute logic? A case in point, bro. You say that, you know, I was going out with this Dominican chick that I met, and she like was confused. She didn't know where she wanted to go. First, she wanted to go to to that crab shack and, and, and um crack shack, crab shack, and um and um. Scroll that again. Um, the twelve bus take you there. Um, City, Island, City Island. Island. Then I was like, okay. She then she changed her mind. So I said, you know, I got a place to go. The Brazilian place we went. I was gonna take her there. She didn't want to go there. We went there. She didn't want to go there. I said, so, 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 so where you want to go? You know, she said, finally, let's go to the regular Dominican restaurant. So you had me drive around, <laughs> wasting gas, wasting gas and time. That's you to say you want to go to the Domin regular Dominican restaurant. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that's, these these women have to be led. Women yeah. have to be led, bro. And, and that's that's what that's the problem with society. You got the society is being led by the tail. It's like a Ooh. dog fucking walking backwards, bro. <laughs> it's madness, bro. Yeah, we are, this is a confused place. That shit had me tight, bro. I was tight. I ain't even saying that to her the rest of the night. I was as quiet. It says, First uh, Corinthians fourteen and thirty-three. Yeah. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace. But of peace. In, right? And this is not a peaceful place, man. This place is out of order, man. They, these people, they, they, that's why death is out here. Like the brother, brother, brother said, you dating the deaf angel following this damn woman. It's a deaf angel, man. And she gonna leave you right to hell, man. Like in the bad condition, hell. <laughs> Fucked up, stabbed up. All right? It says, <laughs> but of peace as in all the churches of the saints. As in right. all the churches of the saints. You know, and a, and a wise man wouldn't follow a woman. A saint, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A saint, a saint went following away. He been looking, he, hey, I know how, how I'm a woman. I'm like, I told him, go, go in the room. Go sit 
It says, let your women keep silence in the churches. And they always gonna try you. Hey, that's what they hear. They hear that. That what they happened to Adam. He, she kept trying though. Right? She's like, fuck it. What the fuck you got to show me? And we gotta, we gotta stand out, we gotta stand our ground, man. This is the time we learn our history, how to stand our ground, stand firm, be grounded in this. It's in a matter of nature to want to please this woman. Yeah. So when when these women know, you know, <laughs> they know that. After yeah. a while they get to know that, so they'll do things like act funny, yeah. act sad, yeah. some of them withhold the box. And as a man you trying to please your woman, it's like almost our nature, so that's what Adam was doing, man. Yeah. yeah. So did Samson. He went. I mean, he yeah. went off and gave her the secrets of his. You know what I'm saying? His. You know his strength because she kept grieving him. Oh, you mocked me this three times. You know. That's why we're in the situation now. But our these scriptures is teaching us how to conduct ourselves according to Yahweh Shimel Shah's will. That's right. It says, "Let your women keep silence in the churches." Let your women shut up. <laughs> Don't come around running your chaffer because it's a lot. I'm so like, because that's why we in our trouble now. Keep silence, man. It says, for it is not permitted. There go word permitting. Right. So don't. It's not for you to speak. And then the church is the men. You going around all, and, and then they, 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 um, they, 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 they got all types of women in there. Can you imagine how the, the room smells? <laughs> yeah. It says, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. To speak, man. It's not permitted to them to, to, to speak, man. Amongst righteous men. Men, the men of the church, Ecclesios. We were called out here to do to do the will of Yahweh Shem Shah. That's why it, it, it's really how spiritual it is. How Apostle said, oh, we don't we have to have women and now children out here. And, and, and it makes sense because then some other woman, the woman looking at some other man, how oh, he speaks better than my man. And not having no respect, more and more respect. Well, 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 and it had the men on the class was the men on this side, the women on that side. And I'm telling you, I'm in the back of the class, and I'm like, you know, every two seconds you like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, bro, you yeah, checking yeah. them out. That's yeah. what you're doing. Exactly. Bro, I, I'm, years ago, I, was, I used to work on 125th. I see Shorty pushing his shoulder. She had the tight fucking dress with fringes. And I'm just like, yo, that's enticing men. Yeah. You gonna have dudes straight up just going just for her. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a fact. That's a yeah, yeah, but yeah. shit. Yeah. That's a fact. It says, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also said the law. Oh, the under obedience just said the law. It's a law that you should not um, run your mouth. Huh? Yeah. It's the last one. This is the this brother point he said. I, I'm going to read it. It says, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at, at home. home. So you supposed to be at home talking to your husband at his feet. Asking all the questions. If he's a righteous man, because you got wicked men out there. So you supposed to be at his asking all the asking all the answers, not going around in some other congregation um, um getting bad thoughts in your mind. You don't even have to be teaching them scripture. Yeah, yeah. You should be learning how to cook the meal, yeah. rub your back, clean the house, feed the house, you know. Maintain your children. Right. And that's oh, it. Oh, oh. They should be doing the dictating, not the dictating. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's the bottom line. Yeah. So let's just pull it last out. verse, last last part. It says, "For it is a shame for women to speak in the church." And with that, that that's the, the scripture tells you all. You know, with that, you got to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, 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 Ba'